It is call for action time now. Could you be eligible to receive funds from a class action lawsuit? Well, maybe, but before you take action, there are a few things that you may want to avoid so you don't get in trouble later. Karen Stiles of our call for action office joining us live in the newsroom today. So, Karen, how do you find out about these lawsuits and how do you take action? Well, Charles, in some cases, the manufacturer or service provider may have record of a purchase and will contact you via a letter or postcard. However, there are a lot of class action lawsuits that you will need to find on your own. You can do this by doing a Google search, following reputable consumer sites for information, or searching the official website for the business or manufacturer. So, Karen, how do you file a claim, especially if you cannot locate a proof of purchase if you don't have the, you know, the receipt. Right. Many of these class action lawsuits will not require written proof of purchase. You simply complete a brief claim form, answering the questions to the best of your knowledge and submitting the claim by the deadline. But in some cases, such as the class action suit regarding naked juice, you may be eligible for a larger settlement if you can show proof of purchase. So if you do decide you want to take action, Karen, are there any precautions that you should take first? Watch out for scams, especially if you get a phone call or an email asking for personal information, such as banking or social security numbers. This will almost never be required for you to file a claim. Do not click on a link on a website or email until you can verify that that link is legitimate. When in doubt, contact the manufacturer or business to verify information and procedures for filing a claim. Courtney and Charles. All right, Karen, thank you. Do you need help with a consumer problem or call for action volunteers? They are ready. Give them a shout, 414-967-5495, or go online at tmj4.com to get help. Just